Hello guys, good evening, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest update for this Wednesday to Friday, February 15 to 17, 2023. And this is our weather analysis brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Dago College Foundation Typhoon Preparedness Center. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set for today, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, as we have mentioned on our last video, we have a uh, shadow LPE which has developed in the vicinity of Palau. This is 99W, which is currently quasi-stationary to the east of Mindanao or east of southern Mindanao to be exact which has a uh, less than 35 percent or low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone however its trough or the rain band um, extension will bring uh, rain showers and thunderstorms across Mindanao Visayas up to Palawan so expect some on and on enough rainfall with thunderstorms alongside with the northeast monsoon which is also being some uh, gale force winds of up to 70 kph over the coastal uh, waters and uh, up to 40 or 50 kph over the inland areas of the affected uh, provinces like Bicol region, Visayas, Mimaropa, Calabarzon and Metro Manila and also the uh, eastern uh, seaboards of Luzon the northern uh, portions, the extreme northern parts of Luzon, particularly uh, areas of uh, Cagayan and Ilocos Norte, uh, as well as Batanes, Babuya, and Cuba Islands, will have some strong winds of up to uh, 60 or 70 kph along these uh, seaboards. And uh, the temperatures will be ranging between 19 to 22 degrees over this part of the Philippines and uh, some rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected over these areas and uh, as we focus our attention on 99W this system will remain quasi stationary and, exp and is expected to uh, move northwest towards the general direction of eastern Visayas based on the various computer models by the weekend the LPA will be passing very close to the Bicol region, uh, probably on Sunday. And there's a hint of a uh, possibility of becoming a tropical depression once it uh, begins to move away from Bicol region. But it depends on the upper level winds, which is uh, hampering the development of the system. If the upper level winds will continue to remain strong, it will remain as a low pressure system as it traverses the coastal waters of the Bicol region uh, during the weekend. So we expect rains, thunderstorms to occur over eastern Visayas and Bicol region, uh, probably uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So uh, possibility of uh, flooding and uh, landslides will be higher during the weekend as the LPA is expected to uh, move into these provinces and it depends on the uh, again on the upper level winds and the uh, strength of the uh, shear line or the frontal system that will eventually uh, connect LP99W as it moves towards the northeast towards the direction so it will be a wait and see situation so we will keep you updated in the coming days and we, we are going to show you the forecast model model the European model uh, while on the other model like the American uh, or US model it shows the same track with uh, the European model but it is expected to uh, dissipate as it traverses Bicol region uh, this coming Sunday so right now the uh, effects of the trough will have a risk of uh, flooding or landslides at medium to high okay and uh, as of 8 a.m. early uh, this morning it's uh, around 1045 kilometers east southeast of Dabao city and uh, is expected to remain on that area as the system tries to organize now let's take a look at the fast animation so there you go uh, the uh, uh, disorganized circulation of LPA 99W near Palau 
as it uh, starts to uh, consolidate. And if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation, we have a surge of the uh, northeast monsoon here affecting uh, Cagayan Valley, and it's likely uh, within the next few hours it's already approaching the Bicol region. We are experiencing some increase of uh, uh, winds during the night time. 30 to 40 kph across the Bicol region and as well over the Visayas as uh, this LPA here is expected to enhance more the northeast monsoon and if you take a look at the uh, uh, upper level winds the uh, wind shear that is affecting the uh, tropical uh, disturbance or LPA the LPA is somewhere here and you can see already winds of 75 to 95 kph above the circulation so we are expecting this LPA to uh, struggle in uh, development okay and uh, this is the upper level portion of that LPA which is quite elongated and uh, this is uh, likely to consolidate a little bit as it moves towards the west now here's the uh, wind forecast for the next three days until Saturday and we were going to extend this uh, forecast through Monday to show to you the outcome of this LPA. So uh, by tomorrow afternoon that LPA is uh, going to remain quasi-stationary in the vicinity of Palau while the northeast monsoon will continue to bring strong winds of 30 to 60 up to 70 kph across the eastern and northern seaboards of Luzon, including Bicol and portions of the Visayas. And on Friday, the LPA will start to become active as it moves towards the west, northwest. And uh, it depends on the uh, development in actual observation. If it does, it develops, it could become a tropical depression. So stay tuned for that. But most of the computer models suggest that after three days it will start to uh, move closer towards eastern Desires and Bicol and is uh, make it uh, having a hard time to intensify. Now Saturday February 18 the LPA is already very close to uh, eastern Visayas and uh, the winds will be uh, blowing from the east while over the Bicol region it will be blowing from the northeast because of the enhanced uh, northeast monsoon on Sunday morning. Okay, the uh, LPA is expected to uh, be in the vicinity of Bicol region. Sunday afternoon, it will uh, re-emerge over to the north of uh, Cananuanes and probably become an active LPA or even a tropical depression. As, it's, uh, as it starts to move towards the north and north northeast in response to a break of the high pressure ridge. Okay, so there will be a uh, steering uh, environment that will move this system towards the north. Now let's take a look on Monday, February 20, that uh, LPA will start to move towards the north northeast probably becoming a subtropical storm or a subtropical cyclone since it has a characteristics of a frontal system and uh, we we shall we shall wait and see what will be the actual uh, development of this uh, low pressure system but uh, the good news it will be having uh, continued uh, hard time of developing into a tropical cyclone and Tuesday, February 21, it will start to accelerate towards the east-northeast in response to a shear line connecting LPA 99W. And another surge of the monsoon will be affecting Bicol region and the uh, coastal waters of eastern and northern Luzon. Okay, so we will stop there. Now let's take a look now on the uh, rain forecast for the next uh, five days. So right now we have some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the Bicol region due to the northeast monsoon. Thursday afternoon, still northeast monsoon 
with some uh, rain showers over the Beagle region and Eastern Luzon. And here comes now the LPA, still quite far. Mm, Friday, February 17, that LPA will start to move to the west. And it's already uh, moving closer to eastern uh, sections of uh, Shergao. And there you go. These are the rain bands of that LPA. Saturday afternoon, the LPA will start... Uh, the LPA will accelerate towards the northwest and is likely to uh, approach uh, eastern Visayas, particularly some provinces. And there you go, these are rain bands that will uh, spread over the Bicol region. Saturday evening, it will start to dump heavy, moderate to heavy rainfall over the Bicol region and southern Quezon, including the eastern sections of northern and central Luzon. Also including um, Basbate and portions of Samar and later, And on Sunday morning, uh, still on and off or widespread rainfall will be expected over the Bicol region and the eastern sections of Luzon. Sunday afternoon, the uh, rain bands of that LPA will begin to diminish over the Bicol region and... Uh, the reform to the north of Bicol over the open seas of the Philippine Sea. Monday, February 20, that LPA will start to accelerate towards the north, northeast away from the uh, coastal waters of Luzon. So as you can see here, there is there is still some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms across the area from Luzon down to eastern Visayas and Mindanao. And on Tuesday, February 21, the LPA will start to accelerate towards the east-northeast in response to a passing frontal system that will connect with LPA 99W and northeast monsoon will again return over the Bicol region. So some showers will be expected. So watch out for that. And before we leave you, here's the latest global Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, uh, valid for the next two to three weeks. Now take note that on the third week, the probability will be very low, highly uncertain, so uh, at least you have an idea what will be the forecast, but the third week will still bound for changes. So week two, valid for February 22 to February 28, we expect above average rainfall to prevail across the Philippine Islands, becoming more than 65% of uh, above average rainfall over Mimaropa, Bigo region, portions of the Visayas, uh, southern and central Luzon, including Metro Manila, while the rest of the Philippine Islands will have more than 50% of above average rainfall. So this dark green is uh, quite higher, more than 65% of above average rainfall. Now on week 3, valid March 1 to March 7, continuing uh, effects of the La Nina will uh, remain over the, over the Philippine Islands with more than 50% of above average rainfall except for Cagayan Valley and uh, portions of Ilocos region. While uh, Palawan and western Mindanao, including the whole of the Sulu archipelago, will have more than 65% of above average rainfall by week 3 of March 1 to March 7. Okay, so now you have an idea what will be the rainfall pattern for the next uh, two to three weeks. So stay tuned for more updates on this hazardous outlook. Hazards Outlook that will be issued next Wednesday. Okay, so there you go. That's the uh, latest update for this uh, Wednesday evening. Stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel.